Exit party. Unless the other guy's here too. Nope, it's just me. I don't know why I'm tripping on it. There we go. Leave. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> Working on a Maze Runner map. Like from the popular book by James Dashner. And currently I've got it set up so that the redstone works and all, so the doors actually open and close at night. Uh, let me show you that real quick. So it's a daylight sensor here, activates the redstone here, toggles an inverted torch, the inverted torch. Well, when it's nighttime, this redstone's not on, and then the torch turns back on, which turns on this entire door. <laughs> Well, this entire half of the door, because I have to do two of these per door. And, uh... Yeah, there's the same on all four of these. Uh, we've made some decent progress, thanks to the help of a few community members on the PlayStation 4 servers. <coughs> like, they've really put forth a lot of effort. Uh, we got a lot of this maze flooring has been built. I'm calling it flooring, but it's really like pathways, which I just have to build up now. Like that. And this is like a majority of a lot of my free time comes into this map. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I've got the walls that'll change every night. So this right here is a pulse limiter when it turns to night. I'll just demonstrate it real quick. Now it's nighttime, the whole machine's reset, the pulse limiter is reset and everything. <coughs> and then daytime comes as signified and then it just goes right there. The pulse goes through and everything works. And eventually this piston over here will be triggered which will send up the sand and then the circuit will become complete which will turn off this torch therefore turning off this entire door and there's only one of these systems on this door this wall so things could get really random <coughs> when I want them to like this one's open that one over there is closed there's going to be a whole bunch more but for right now I'm just trying to get the game built up to where I need it to be. Oh yeah, there's one over here too. This one's more complex. Because now, because I've had the problem where I can't get it to open on a specific day. So what I do now is <coughs> this whole circuit now has to be complete and you can make some really complicated machines with just this <laughs> Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, this is my Maze Runner world that I've been working on since November of last year. And... It's really starting to come along. Like, we finally got the surrounding walls done. To really keep people from getting out. And I started on one of these puzzles over here, <coughs> which, uh, this puzzle over here is sort of a puzzle. And I won't mess with any of this because you guys will figure out the solution if I do that. And yeah. But uh, there's been times where I wanted to quit on this map completely because of, like, the amount of. <clears throat> the amount of crap I had on my to-do list <laughs> but with like the valiant efforts of a lot of community members and I mean a lot I mean I have their names up here I have their names up here and everything it's we got Dark Persona Fox we got Archon Con The Mondays Hermit freaking Animated Ari and that's only like a few because I just had 
the idea to make a little hollow credit so I know exactly who helped out. <coughs> And you know, the maze is fully functional for the most part. Uh, the doors actually move depending on the day and night, as I probably said before. Uh, said <coughs> then we got cave spiders that'll spawn and give you the poison damage. Similar to the Grievers in the book and in the movie, because all anybody knows about is the movie. No one really reads books anymore. <laughs> that makes me sad. And this is empty. Right. I've yet to fill up these boxes. There should be one around here somewhere. Yep, right here. Did I fill this one? Yep. <coughs> like when I get done with this map, it's gonna be worth it, I think. Because I'm going to release it for free online. Like, I'm, I plan to get no profit off of this, like, whatsoever. It's just a little project there, because I was like, cause I'm always like, hey, I really wish there was a Maze Runner map that I could download online. And seeing as no one ever makes one, well, doesn't make a decent one. <coughs> No one ever makes a decent one, so... Yeah. Oh, they're in the lobby. They're probably gonna leave after I put them in adventure, so... There you go. I'll be nice. I'll give you some shit to start off with. It's not done, but, like, they really can't do that much damage to my map, so. <laughs> Especially because I don't have their cribs on. So there they go. And that's basically the just the map, except for the lobby that I have yet to show anyone. This lobby over here, I'm pretty sure it was Hermit, ZR Hermit, who helped me build this. But, uh, ZR Hermit, I think, helped me build this entire little lobby area. In case you spawn on the roof, you, there's only, like, there's not really a way to get out of spawn, because there's lava surrounding it. Which I think is pretty clever of him. <coughs> I fly all the way back when I can just do that. Oh, and it's a work in progress, but I'd say it's about maybe a quarter done from November. <laughs> Like, if I could get some more help on this, I'd have this done in a couple of weeks, but... <coughs> School and work and all that stuff gets in the way, and that's more important than this. So, whenever I have free time, I like to get on here and work things out and build. And sure, the world's been griefed a couple of times by people I trust to actually help out and work, but for the most part, people have actually, like, hunkered down and put their best effort 
into building this maze. It would be disrespectful to them. Now it would be disrespectful to them to actually quit and not build it. That's what I think. Because that would be a waste of their time. Not just mine. I update the save every time I do like a significant amount of work. I make a copy. And then I make a copy of the copy. Because there's been a time where I lost all of it and had to start over. Now it's on the Xbox. And I couldn't like transfer it over because it's Xbox and PlayStation and whatever. <clears throat> it was a shitty version of it anyway. Didn't really care for it. Is that new person going to go in the maze? Oh, they're, they're, they're in the maze. <laughs> go ahead. <clears throat> so hesitant, like, you, you think something was going to kill you outright? Nah. I am a merciful god. Running down the hallways. I should probably put a little trap here. Uh, I hate this building mechanic. If command block were in this game, I, w I wouldn't be building it block by block, but... Fuck. Oh well. That's just how it is. <coughs> no, she thinks she's gonna get out if she goes that way. Tough luck. Oh, you went back in the little safe area? What a shame. So we got the glade here, we got the maze out here. Cave spider spawn in the maze and attack. <laughs> oh, are you actually gonna go back in? I left this one closed by like just putting some blocks above it because if it opens then they're gonna go over here and this part's not even not even started yet as you can see look at all that you know, I have to do a lot hopefully they don't think this is all that there is to the map Teleport him to me.
There we go. Next one, I'll make her watch. Watch the doors close and seal her feet. See if they survive or if they run. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, I fucking hit her. No way. It actually hit her. Yeah, I should put... Or kill yourself. That's cool, too. I should probably turn keep... Like, when I actually have the game going on, I'll actually turn keep inventory off. So killing yourself is not optional. It's not an option. Why did I say it's not optional? It's always optional. But you lose all your stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh, -huh. uh -huh. 
Oh. Uh. Ooh, that honey feels really good in my throat. Oh my god.